Hey guys, Kevin Guzman for The Walking Dead, Season 6, Episode 6, Always Accountable. And I was looking forward to this episode because, obviously, I knew it was going to show what happened with Daryl, Abraham, and Sasha. And I also was wondering if maybe we were going to get some closure with Glenn's storyline. Well, that's not even touched upon in this episode. Two, I kind of found this episode boring. I don't know, guys. I really was not that into this episode, I have to tell you guys. I usually like the single-focused episode where they focus on a specific group, but I found this one rather boring, I have to say. I mean, it wasn't necessarily a bad episode. I just felt like these three characters just are not as interesting as they used to be. They're not bad. I just didn't really um, care as much for this episode as I wanted to. I thought this episode was just kind of... Okay, it was it was it was good. It wasn't bad, but it just wasn't as interesting. How most people thought about last week's episode, that's how I felt about this episode. Um, and it's mainly because of the people that they found. We'll get into that, but the opening in this episode I thought was terrific. I love the opening here. There were some good moments in this episode, I will say that. I just didn't find it really all that interesting. Daryl, Abraham, and Sasha continue leading the herd, but get ahead of it a bit. They branch off and start to head back to Alexandria. Gunshots ring out, and the three flee for safety. Daryl lays his bike down, and Sasha and Abraham continue ahead, still getting shot at. Daryl hops back on his bike and takes off, also being shot at. Abraham and Sasha crash through a fence. Daryl comes around a corner, finds a pack of walkers, rides through them, and Abraham and Sasha gun down some of the pursuers. Daryl branches out on his own, still being tailed. And at this point, I was loving them, so I'm like, okay, this is awesome. There's some great walker killing going on here. Abraham retrieves his knife, and Sasha flee as they hear more coming. Daryl evades a jeep on a side street. He continues into the woods and lays down beside his bike. The sound of a walker in a motorcycle home beside him startles him, and uh, Daryl then pushes his bike through the woods past several burnt-up bodies. He radios for Sasha and Abraham, but they don't respond. He doesn't know if they're alive or not. It's a really good scene. His arm is dripping blood onto a skull. He slowly takes his jacket off, reveals the wound on his arm for picking up his pack and weapon and covering his bike with nearby bush brush. And I was just wondering, was this a walker bite? Was he hurt by a walker? Because I was wondering if maybe they were going to put Daryl, like, bitten by a walker, because that could be really interesting. But no, he searches for words for whatever is making noise around him, aims his bow as he investigates, and I know a lot of people were upset that Daryl was going to go somewhere and then decided to go back with Sasha and Abraham, and he finds two young girls who say they earned what they took, but is clubbed by a man he didn't see. This is where the episode just kind of stalls. I mean, for a lot of this episode, it really stalls here. And I understand, again, the show needs to be slow, but it needs to be interesting. I didn't really find this episode all that interesting. Daryl starts to wake up at a campfire. His hands are tied. A man tells him to get up and points a gun at him, telling him that they're moving. And Daryl tells him he's not who he thinks he is. The four start through the woods. They force Daryl to drink some water. They want to trade Daryl and call it even, but they're not talking about Rick and company. They discuss how they survive the fire in the woods. They burn the woods when the apocalypse first started, and Daryl questions whether or not they're being stupid. And the man draws his gun and questioning Daryl if he's being stupid by keeping him alive, because he really doesn't know if he can trust Daryl. You know, he doesn't know if Daryl is a wolf or if he is a real person. And Daryl tries to negotiate, but the man tells him that he's one of them. They should never trust his people to begin with and tells him to keep moving. The group finds a construction company riddled with walkers, and they're upset about their friend, Patty. They're scared to tell someone about Patty. One girl faints, and Daryl grabs a bag and takes off. He radios for Sasha and Abraham from the woods, but they don't answer. And as a walker... Um, approaches, he rummages through the bag for his weapon, grabs his bow, just in time to take the walker, take out the walker, and in the bag he finds a cooler labeled insulin, and for the rest of the episode, these two are separated, they are separated, they do eventually meet up again, but Abraham and Sasha in this episode, not feeling it, really not feeling it, I get that they're trying to build something between them, I'm just not feeling it guys, I'm really not, they search for Daryl, hiding by a truck and evaluating the situation, Sasha reels for a non-responsive Daryl, Abraham thinks that Daryl left them behind, but Sasha doesn't think he would do that. The two continue their search, and Sasha makes a door, marks the door as Abraham wants to kill a distant walker, but she tells him that it's unnecessary to do that. There's no reason for him to do that. So the two explore the inside of a building, and they find marine outfits and photos of a family. So Walker, so basically they figure, hey, we'll stick with this family, see what's going to happen here. A walker smashes into glass besides Abraham, and Abraham wants to kill him, but Sasha isn't worried about it. You know, she doesn't think that there's a reason to kill him. So Sasha tries to sleep as Abraham scavenges the office, and uh, he doesn't understand. Why didn't Sasha want him to kill this walker? I mean, obviously this walker is smashing glass. Why not just kill him? I don't understand it. Um, but Abraham scavenges this office, and Abraham mocks Sasha's choice to get comfortable here and let walkers leave. Sasha asks why he chose to come with her, because yeah, why why not go with Daryl? Daryl would be a better adversary, you know, better uh, ally to go with. 
and he tells her that she was out of control for a while, and she questions him on why he wants to kill every walker, and he tells her that loose ends makes his ass itch, and I thought that was a great line. Sasha criticizes Aram's knee for being in control and being knee, and she tells him that he's always accountable for his choices, but without the extra noise such as killing walkers, no one will notice. I get that he's with Sasha. Again, guys, I'm just not feeling it. I'm really not. I'm just not that into it, I have to say. So Dale continues through the woods, finds the three captors from earlier. He tries to bargain for the bag and takes the thing he was carving earlier and scampers off. A truck pulls up into the woods, demands they return what they took. A man is giving orders and Daryl watches. The three try to flee and Daryl tells them which way to go. He helps them hide and Daryl gives the man his gun back and he makes a sound which draws a man toward him, lures him into, his, into a walker bite and the man promptly has his arm cut off at the forearm of the apparently or the group. He radios in saying they're calling it off and heading back. So the man with Daryl questions why he came back to help them, and Daryl tells them that maybe he's stupid too. Which, obviously, yeah, why would Daryl do that? I mean, is he, does he want to get killed by walkers? Like, what are you trying to do here? Do you want to get killed? That, that's my question here. Do you want to get killed? I mean, obviously, he's acting like he wants to. So, Abraham then stands guard in the building while Sasha sleeps, and through the window, he sees a soldier impaled on a bridge, and he finds bazooka rockets in the dead soldier's Humvee and a box of cigars, and he puts his gun down, climbs out of the suspended soldier, wrestles with him for the RPG on his back, and ends up yelling at him. He returns to the truck and has a cigar, and the walker falls from the bridge, and the rocket launcher is left hanging, and uh, I have to say, this was quite a good scene. I definitely enjoyed it overall. Um, but Abraham returns to the building where Sasha is waiting with the new gear. He lectures her on how he wants to live fruitfully until he unexpectedly dies. And he tells Sasha he wants to get to know her better. She questions why he thinks that and she tells him he has some stuff to take care of, which he agrees with. Again, I just don't know why Sasha, out of all people, he'd pick her. I get that he thinks that she's erratic, but I just, I'm not, I don't think that Abraham would have picked Sasha. I don't think he'd do that. I think he'd be much more concerned about taking out walkers and not helping someone out. I really don't think Abraham would do something like that. It just felt very out of character for me. I really wasn't into this softer side of Abraham. I just, I, I really wasn't feeling it, I have to say. So Daryl and his new friends continue through the woods. The other thing in this episode, like I said, is that the people that they were with in this episode, like Daryl's people, were extremely uninteresting. I didn't really find them interesting at all. I found them quite boring, and I just... After some of the other people we've had, like um, Eastman and people like that, these people are rather boring. I didn't really find them that interesting. The man explains what happened, how things fell apart. Daryl tells him that no one is safe anymore, and the man tells him you can promise it to the people who want to hear it, which is true. No one really is safe, and I think Daryl understands this. And Tina, the girl who fainted, runs off to a broken um, down house. They find two dead bodies and feel responsible for their deaths. The two bodies reanimate and bite the young girl, and that was pretty crazy when they just bit her like that. So, Daryl and the man bury the bodies, and Daryl asks the man how many walkers he's killed, then how many people he's killed, and uh, he, of course, asks those questions that Rick asks. And I like that Daryl asks these questions, because, you know, this is something that Rick always asks, and I like seeing that. So, when the man says he hasn't killed anybody, Daryl asks, the, um, you know, how many people he's killed, and uh, the man tells him, because killing would eliminate the chance of going back. So, Dar so it seems like this man practices Aikido. It seems like he definitely does that. Aikido, he, um, you know, practices it. And I'm wondering if he might um, ally with Morgan. if Because Daryl invites them to go to Alexandria. I did find this interesting, but we just had this storyline with Morgan and Eastman. Okay, if we keep having these random people that don't want to kill, just not that interesting. Okay, there needs to be specific, re specific reasons for doing that. And there really isn't that difference here. Um... You know, Eastman was doing it because it was helping him survive, and this man's doing it because it's helping him to survive. Not that different at all, and I was actually pretty upset that it was that they didn't go in a different direction, because I honestly would have wanted them to do something different. I think they could have done something different here, but they didn't, and whatever, they didn't do something different with this. So Daryl and the man then bury the bodies, and Daryl asks the man how, oh, I just read this. So Daryl then uncovers his bike, invites the two remaining to follow him, but the man draws his gun, demands Daryl's crossbow. The man hands the woman his gun, gets on Daryl's bike. They toss Daryl a bandage before taking off on his bike, and uh, basically they go off. They're going to go with Daryl on this mission. We don't exactly know what's going to happen there. I Again, I didn't care for these characters, so I don't really have much to say here. Daryl heads back to the walker with the helmet on. He finds a panel on the ground for the fuel company seen earlier before uncovering a fuel truck. And he puts the walker inside the truck. I will say, though, that that one scene with Abraham killing that walker, 
that was really cool. I definitely uh, really like that scene, I have to say, because you don't know what's going to happen in that scene, if Abraham's going to die, what's going to happen to him. That was a really intense scene. Other than that, though, guys, I really wasn't a huge fan of this episode, and especially the ending. I thought the ending was actually pretty stupid, I have to say, because Abraham's modeling this military suit for Sasha, and uh, it seems like he's trying to cheer her up or get her happy. I don't really know what he's trying to do, but a truck pulls up. They're startled, but finds it is Daryl, and uh, the three head back. Obviously, they're startled because they didn't know that Daryl was alive, but now they're reunited. They head back for Alexandria, and uh, thank God that was over because I have to say, just them separated just wasn't that interesting. If this episode would have been Daryl, Abraham, and Sasha trying to survive, that could have been interesting, but the episode was just them talking, and it wasn't that interesting. You know, the situation that they're in, it just didn't feel realistic. There wasn't, and I'm not saying there wasn't enough Walker kills. I'm fine when there's compelling stories, but there really wasn't anything that interesting here, I have to say. I didn't find any of the characters that interesting. I really wasn't into it. I really wasn't feeling it, guys. Um, I have to say that. So... Daryl then radios for Rick, but gets a call for help instead, and that's basically how this episode ends. So yeah, like I said, guys, not that eventful, I have to say. Really not that eventful. That's why I'm going to keep this review pretty short, because I don't really have too much to say about this episode. I thought there, there were some really good scenes in this episode. I liked some of the scenes with Abraham. I'm just not feeling Abraham and Sasha. It feels like they're trying to make them into a couple, and I really hope they don't do that. We don't need a relationship between these two. We just don't need it. Sasha's been through a lot. Yes, I understand that. But we don't need this. First of all, there's no time for this, okay? We already have Jesse and Rick who are going to run the, you know, um, community together. We don't need another relationship. We just don't. It's it's pointless that they did this, and I really do not like it. This man that Daryl's encountered, yeah, he, it's interesting if he meets up with Morgan, but it's just not that interesting. It's just not that different from Eastman. There really wasn't anything that different about him, and I was quite upset about that, I have to say. I really want something different from these characters. I want to be invested in the secondary characters we meet because they're just as interesting. You know, they're doing whatever they can to survive while they, you know, while... Uh, Rick and his, while, you know, the uh, their group does whatever they can to survive. I like seeing the different ways they survive. Aikido is good, but you have to find ways to make it different, and they really didn't here. I didn't really find it all that different at all. Everything going on with Daryl. Daryl's starting to bore me, I gotta say. Daryl is definitely, I think, losing his mojo a bit. I don't think Daryl is nearly as interesting as he used to be. He didn't really kill a lot in this episode, um, you know, even though he wants to kill. I mean, both a lot of the storylines are both the same. Sasha didn't want to kill while Abraham did want to kill. This man didn't want to kill while Daryl did want to kill. It very much felt like the same storyline, and that's why I was quite bored by it. The conversations, I didn't find that interesting. I really wasn't into this episode, and it was probably one of the more disappointing episodes I've seen in a while. We've been on a real hot streak lately, and this episode was just kind of a snoozer, I gotta say. I know some people say that with last week's episode, but I found last week's episode a lot more interesting because of the other characters that we actually care about. Not that I don't care about Dave, Daryl, Abraham, and Sasha, it's just they are by far the three least interesting characters right now. So I'm happy we haven't had a lot of them this season, and I really hope we don't have another episode focusing on them again, because right now at least they're very uninteresting, and I'm really, I really didn't care about them in this episode. And it's too bad, because obviously these are three characters were supposed to care about, but because there are so many other characters that have so many more interesting things going on for them, and I know that people don't like the Alexandria group. I love the Alexandria group. I know a lot of people don't, um, but I really do. I think the Alexandria group is actually really good. Me personally, I think, like I said, I think the Alexandria group is actually um, very good, but uh, I, I think overall what I like is, you know, I, I think, you know, what I like about them it's just, they're definitely different than this man that just practices Aikido. It's not that in, it's not that different, and they didn't really find a way to make it that different, unfortunately. So overall, guys, I don't have much to say about this episode. I really don't. We have two episodes left this, uh, this half of the season, and holy shit, I can't believe we only have two episodes left. I mean, this has really gone by very fast. Next week looks a lot more interesting, because we are going to get back to everyone reuniting, which is going to be great. I can't wait to see how that turns out, and I hope it's at least satisfying, because... Again, I really wanted to like this episode. I want to tell you guys, I really wanted to love this episode. I liked the episode. I thought it was a good episode. I didn't think it was a great episode. It's one of the more disappointing ones I've seen in a while. But let me know what you guys thought of this episode. I would definitely like to hear your thoughts on it. Um, I'd like, you know, what did you guys think of everything going on? Do you like Daryl, Sasha, and Abraham? I don't hate their characters by any means. I think Abraham's a, Abraham's a very good character. 
I'm not really into Daryl as much as I used to be, but Abraham especially, I liked his scenes definitely. I thought the actor that played him was very good. Daryl was good too. Sasha, eh, kind of boring, I gotta say. I mean, the fact that he's trying to help her out, she's not really smiling. I just, I really wasn't into it. But let me know what you guys thought of this episode. Like I said, I found it kind of boring. Um, And this was definitely more of like the Daryl Beth episode stuck, you know, where they were trapped in that house. But even that was more interesting because they revealed so much about themselves. They got to know each other more. That was definitely a lot more interesting than this. I really didn't find this episode all that interesting, I have to say. Um, maybe it's just not my kind of episode, and maybe you guys might have liked it more. I can understand that. If you guys like this episode, fine. I'm not upset that you like this episode. I personally just didn't really like it that much. Mainly, maybe because when the com when I go to commercial, I was watching The Leftovers, and obviously I like The Leftovers more than Walking Dead. Like, we talked about this a million times, but overall, I just found this episode just kind of not that interesting. Let me know what you guys saw this episode. Um, did you like it more than last week? I know a lot of people probably did. I thought last week's was actually a, a, li a lot stronger. I enjoyed last week's a lot more. I don't know. I just, I, I think the Alexandria characters are actually really good. I know a lot of people find them boring, but I really do like them. But that is my review. Hope you enjoy it. We'll see you guys in my next review, which will be for tonight's episode of The Leftovers, and I will see you guys for that. Okay, bye.